How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. I have some masking tape of different grades over here. All of them 3M. One of them is contractor grade, the regular beige color one. The blue one, which you're supposed to use for painting, and it's the original Scotch 3M kind. And then you have the very special one, the Scotch Sharp Lines one. Now the price of these vary, you know, it gets more and more expensive. $2.50. $4.50 and $6.50 just for one single roll. So if you're going to use this, it better work really, really well. And also if you buy them in bulk, you know, six packs, 12 packs or whatever, it gets cheaper and cheaper. The wall over here, it needs some repainting. It's really dirty. I'm going to put these various kinds of tape on here, paint over it and see how well each kind of these tape does for masking. First is the contractor grade one. This is the original and the sharp line version. Ooh, interesting. You can still differentiate the two blue masking tape over here. The sharp line ones has this yellow marking all over it. A peel test. Okay. I'm just going to stick them on here first. Guess I'll do a rip test. This is pretty easy to rip. Pretty easy to rip. Yeah, you know, not too special. They all feel roughly the same. I think just to the naked eye, I can't tell much difference on the edge over here. I'm looking at the bottom of the edge of this masking tape on this blue one and also this special sharp line one. I don't see a difference. You can actually leave the blue one on for a really long time and it won't gunk up. However, for the regular masking tape, they tend to kind of solidify and it becomes really, really hard to remove from any surface. So there's an advantage with the blue tape. But I'm really curious about this, uh, this sharp line one. Is it, is it going to be really sharp or what the heck? With the masking tape, if I press it down, kind of massage it in. It does get in between all the texture of this wall, but no one is really going to take all the care into kind of mushing it in like this. With the blue tape, you can do kind of the same thing, I guess, but you can't see the texture as well after you press it. With the sharp line multi-surface one, hmm, roughly the same as the blue one in terms of feel. So now I'm going to paint it over a little bit and see how it does. I'm just going to give it a really light coating on this side. And then I'm going to give it a medium coat here. Pretty heavy. And then I'm going to give it a really heavy paint over here on the right side. Does that look about very heavy? Okay, very heavy. I'm going to let this dry for a while and then we can come back. All right, it's been a few hours. Oh, oh my. Oh my. <laughs> it definitely leaked a lot. I think this is mainly from the masking tape pulling a little bit off. But you can see since my wall is kind of patterned, it leaked a little bit into those crevices. So let's just move on and take a look at the next one. Okay, well, it also does pull off a little bit of paint because this is an old wall, but let's just pull all of them off first and, and then analyze it later. Ooh, it also pulls it off there. I'm trying to ignore all these lighter white spots because the paint got peeled off. You can see a little bit of the paint leaked in on both top and bottom. This is the blue tape over here. A little bit also leaks in. 
I guess all of the tape does not really conform to the bumps of the wall, so a little bit would leak in. You can see it did really well over here, and I'd say this is a relatively nice edge. Let's move down here. It's interesting it peeled off so much of the paint over here. It also leaks in. I guess all of them leak in because they are you know, roughly the same thickness. Let's look at the lightest coat over here in terms of the sharpness of the lines. To me, all three are pretty acceptable. They look pretty similar to me, and none of them are really good at blocking the paint from going into the crevices. It appears the fine line one is a little bit more sticky, but I don't see a dramatic improvement in terms of performance. 250, 450 per roll, and 650 per roll over here. I'm gonna see if I can actually cover this up again. Seems like the part where I taped needs a little bit more paint. I can, I can see a bit of line over here still because I put a really thick layer on here. I'm gonna try this again with a piece of wood because this is a little bit smoother a surface. This sharp line tape is a little bit smoother. This is a little bit more rough. And I would say it is a bit more th stickier. Let me try a fresh piece here. Just a little bit, maybe like 20% stickier for uh, this sharp line one, I feel. And just to compare, yeah, this is pretty sticky too. Let's get some white paint here. And I'm gonna do very heavy. Okay. We'll let this dry and come back again. I let it dry for about a day and let's remove the tape. You can see there's a little bit of leakage right there because the grain of the wood just kind of dips down a little bit. Let's go over here. This also leaked a little bit over here. Hmm. To me, there's no clear winner. It seems like if you put the masking tape on and there's a bit of texture on the surface that you're painting on, you do have to work in the tape a little bit so it doesn't leak like this. The bottom side is a very light coat and you can see when it doesn't leak, there's a little bit of fuzzy edge over here. And for the blue tape, there's also a little bit of fuzzy edge on both sides. And for the fine line one, it, I guess it looks really good here, but then it leaked a little bit there. To me, there's no clear advantage, it seems, even though this is 250, 450, and $6.50 per 60 yard roll. I really thought there's gonna be a difference between all these different kinds of tape, at least something a little bit noticeable, but it turns out it, there's not that much of a difference between all three of them, all three, you still have to massage it in if there are little indentations on the surface. The main difference between this beige one and the blue one, of course, if you leave the beige one on for weeks or something, it tends to harden. The glue that's underneath this becomes so hard on the surface, it just gets baked on. However, the blue one does not do this. So if you're gonna leave it on for an extended period of time, then it might be good. That's all I have for you guys for today. Thanks for watching.